The death of Josh Simon about a week after he'd gone into a coma. What happened? I mean, it was inevitable, unfortunately. You know, I mean, um, it was not expected that he would get out of the coma. And uh, yeah, he passed away this morning. And I mean, he, it, it, it certainly you know, appears to have been a drug overdose. So until the toxicology reports come in, we don't know exactly what it is. I mean, you know, it's it'll come out uh, at some point. But, um, you know, it's a sad story. He, he, he had a real tough time because in 2013, um, his, he was texting his, his girlfriend, his fiance, I believe. Um, and... You know, she she was driving and she she got in a crash and she died. So that's that's like, um, you know, what I mean, that's a tough one. Um, and and you know, and, he, and it was not a secret that he'd had problems um, over that. So, you know, and his best friend died. You know, right away. I mean, they you know he, they were they were together in in uh, it was his friend's place in Hollywood, Florida. And, um, you know, his friend, his friend was found dead and he was found still alive by a third person, but in really rough shape. And he never, you know, he never got out of the coma or anything like that for the, you know, in the six days. So it's, I didn't know him. I mean, I'd seen him fight. Um, and like he lost his last fight to Tim Boach, uh, in a fight that I thought that he was going to win. Um, you know, he was an ultimate fighter and he was, you know, he was in ultimate he was supposed to be well he was in he was in ultimate fighter or was was select for ultimate fighter and then he ended up having an accident and and uh, a blood clot and he nearly lost his leg over it then he came back and he continued to fight he tried out for ultimate fighter two more times wasn't picked two more times then he finally was picked for ultimate fighter in in uh i think it was 2013 early 2013 season the one that kelvin gastelum won and he went to the um semifinals he didn't go to the finals because that was uriah hall and um kelvin and kelvin beat him in the semis by a choke so Kel and kelvin became a big star and he's he's gone three and two in ufc and he beat eddie gordon you know who was who was somebody um on on actually it was on the what would have been his his girlfriend's 24th birthday i remember that one where you know they brought that up and and what a big emotional thing that was he said he saw the date of the ufc on his girlfriend's birthday and he pretty much said I have to be on the show and then he went out there and and you know had has probably his best fight in UFC that night so yeah very sad story